Right, so this is a lesson we will going to start a new file and to we will call it lesson 3 dot dot by and we will explain how we can make a button so uh, we will import as usual the kv and all the necessary file we, we will use also the label and we will copy this and going here and define some classes so we will uh, add a widget from kv.uix dot widget import the widget and we have a class called we, we can call it third widget inherits from widget and we will pass for now let's say we have third app heard from application we will pass for now and you will say if name will be then third app dot run So there is a KV is depending on Python or you can use an external describing language language called the KV. So if you going uh, to the packages here, packages here, you can search for KV and uh, you will see the KV language. You can install any of these add-on. Uh, then uh, the support for the KV inside your application will be uh, supportable or okay uh, to use the KV language. Then uh, you can start a file called cert.kv so the kv language must have the same name of your application without the app and it must be all on a small case in small letters and uh, it will be defined already by you by python if you, it is in your uh, file directory so uh, these are the three notes for you then i will go on to describe some uh, the, some lines inside this widget i will define that there is an third widget and then skip by tab key i will say that i have a label tab and say that the id will be called label one and position will be 300 and 200 and the text will be maybe hello then we have another button is this a button so uh, we have another widget which is called the button the id will be button one so you may ask why we are using the id so uh, you can reference this id inside your Python file to uh, make an event uh, which we will talk about later and we have the position 200 and 300 we have the size which is 350 we have the text which is hello and we have the function which is called on press and on this press we will call dot root which is our application and dot my callback root dot my call back and we will again say that we have a text input and inside this text input which is another widget and make sure that you have the text input all as you type here so if you have label you type label and if you have widget you type widget if you have button you type uh, button so you are typing here inside this thread you are typing the name of your class let's say that we have an id and this, this id will be called text text input one we have the position of 200 and 400 and you have a size of 350 we have an multi line of false 
and you have and text which is called add and after that on focus root dot my so in focus uh, we will make these functions so we will return it to our Python file and inside the widget we will type and function so we so we will type the first so self dot ids dot label one dot text you have clicked here now and after that we have another function which is called my call back one uh, which is an inherits from self which is our widget dot ids uh, dot label one dot text will be enter text here so let's define what we will get so if you focused in the label you will see the text if you clicked on the button you will changing the label so uh, these are two events that you should run return third widget not running uh, so third widget only we are returning the third widget and after that i will go to the timeline and uh, say that this is called lesson three so uh, i will type lesson three and then enter then we should see this panel so after typing clicking here we'll see that you have clicked here and while focusing you can see there is two arguments bosses so i think that there is some input here so we must say input string of input let's try this again I will run this to focus as you can see uh, then the label uh, have an another input and if you click here you have clicked now if you focused so this is the basics if you click you have clicked if you focus you see that there is an we are making an space uh, so this is the basic if you click you will see this if you focus in the text input you will see so this is very very useful part inside the key as you can see this is the third lesson i hope you enjoy this tutorial see you in the next lesson